All right, so I'm here to mine deep in the forest and there's a bunch of stuff to see on the surface, but I wanted to start off by showing you this old Arastra. Check it out. So for those that don't know, an Arastra is a really primitive method of crushing ore. Essentially there would be a couple um, drag stones in this basin right here. And those would be attached either by rope or chain to a center shaft. And when that shaft rotated, the stones would drag over the ore, crushing it into a fine powder. These uh, border stones are really cool. And it actually looks like one of the drag stones is still in here. See that? My shadow's kind of blocking it, but there might be more in there. So they uh, look buried. And then right over here we have a collapsed structure. Um, not really sure what it was. Looks like they may have been storing uh, firewood in there. And right over here we have a really awesome miner's cabin. Let's go check it out. And there's just a bunch of remnants scattered all over. So as far as I know, this mine was a depression era mine. So in the 30s. You know, the cabin still has uh, the tin roofing. Pretty neat. So it's uh, pretty trashed inside. It's really neat though. Over there you can see the, the stove pipe. And there's a window right here. Yeah, just a bunch of um, what looks like old stuff mixed with new stuff uh, thrown all around in here. Looks like the pack rats have gotten to it. There's like a uh, tool bench with some uh, shelves above it. And it looks like they were either lining the walls or the ceiling with um, old boxes. And Right over here is the mine dump, that big flat area. You can see there's an ore cart rail. So that means the added is right over here. Looks open. All right, so the added looks very flooded inside, at least a couple feet of water. Uh, I am gonna go in though, but uh, before I go in, I wanna see what else we can find on the surface. And this post right here, I've been seeing these at the mines all around this area. I'm pretty sure this is a marking made by the Forest Service so they know uh, which mines a gate, or which mines they've already found and plan to gate. So right over there is the cabin, and right here we have another ruined structure. I read that this mine had a three snap mill in 1933, and I'm thinking that it was right here because I'm finding a bunch of belts that would have ran equipment all over here. There's some more down here. And you can see this really cool rock wall that would have bordered the mill building. And over here, looks like we have some uh, smokestacks maybe. Some big pieces of riveted pipe. There's just ruins all around here. All right, so I'm inside the mine now, maybe about 20 feet in. And if you can't tell by the buzzing, there's a crap ton of mosquitoes in here. 
oh my god, it's it's just almost unbearable. I, like I'm breathing them in. <coughs> Pardon the language. Um, there's a branch right here, but there's a collapse about 10 feet down there. Uh, but the main tunnel keeps going. So let's go check that out. Oh man. I have to say this is one of the most unpleasant mine tunnels I've been in. Not one of the most, the most. I should have said that. Well, at least we're getting away from the mosquitoes. And it seems like the water is residing a bit. There's some weird blobs of gunk on the ribs of the mine. Uh, definitely not going to touch that. This water is cold. Okay, it's actually kind of getting a bit deeper. I'm definitely not very used to flooded mines. So far the air in here is perfect, so that's a good sign. Looks like it bends off to the right of the head. some more adits. Um, a lot of them in this area are caved in, but uh, see you on that side. <laughs> Alright, so I've been looking around for open adits, and I'm standing on a mine dump right now. I believe the uh, adit would be right here, but it's caved in. And I've looked around and found several other ones that were also caved in. So, I think the only open one was the one we went inside. Uh, and that one was probably caved in down those drifts because it connected to a caved in shaft. You can see we have a bed spring right here, bed frame. Yeah, well, I'm glad I was at least able to get some underground footage. And of course the cabin and the rasher were really awesome to see. <laughs> 